I would describe it as a, I mean, it, for me, the experience watching it, you're totally invested and, and you have such a good ride and it's the most amazing balance of, um, of, of caring for these characters and being in awe of, uh, of the monsters and wanting to know what happens next and everything about it captivates you and you, you never leave I, don't, I never left this screen for a moment when I saw it. I just wanted, I was so excited to see what was coming. Yeah, my best friend and I saw this movie together and we, were, we felt bad for Godzilla and we hated the Mutos. We, we were cheering for him and, and that's what's so fun about this movie is like you're cheering for the humans and you're also, there is also an emotional life of these monsters which you, I didn't expect at all. And the, the Mutos are these like awful like hissing villains and Godzilla is just like this great big guy who's just trying to, you know, restore things and, and he's like two against one. You really care for him. Very misunderstood. He's like best anti-villain or anti-hero. We did and we both knew of each other's work, I think, but um, we had never met and, and it was nice to have about a week before shooting of um, just kind of talking through things with Gareth in his office and us all being on the same page of the relationship and it was always building and, um, and changing um, the entire process of the film and, and it's nice to have that kind of um, collaboration part of making a movie this large. I think audiences are pretty smart these days and I think they, they, they not a large portion of people who go and see movies can just enjoy monsters just battling it out. I think everyone wants to wants to see actors in films for a reason. I think they want to be connected um, to the emotional life and the human story. Um, and then that in, that investment allows you to care and enjoy about what's happening next to the world and to these monsters. It, and it's, it's amazing to have such an unbelievable ensemble of people who you're all at different times invested in. You're invested in Brian's story and Juliet's Benoche's at the beginning. And then you're also interested in Ken Watanabe's, you know, his history with his father or his grandfather and, um, and Sally Hawkins and, you know, their passion. And then you're connected to this smaller family story between me and Aaron and his character and our son. So it's, um, I think it's incredibly important. Absolutely, and we love disaster movies. I think people love disaster movies because there's always, um, there's always the moment where, where people, you know, persevere at the end of it and people rebuild and that's during these disasters, it's the, it's the connection that we have between our loved ones and our family that, that you need, that make you remember, you know, what's most important in life. And um, I think that's the human aspect. We love disaster movies and we also are fascinated um, by it. I, I don't know if it's because it's our greatest fear or what, but um, you know, if you are driving and you see a car accident, everyone slows down to take a look. I don't know if it's because they care about who's hurt or if they wanted to see how bad it looks, you know? You know, it's really technical and it's something that's, it's a skill that you learn, I think. And I think it's a skill that a lot of actors are really good at, you know, and there are reasons why we love Harrison Ford, you know, he, or, or anyone really. I mean, you can say the same thing for Robert Downey. There are people who are able to, to understand the technical part of it and bring so much personality in those moments. And so it's a skill to, to understand. And I, it, I'm, nice, I'm happy I got a taste of it in this film. Well, I always knew what was happening because Gareth always, um, before we shot everything for special effects, he had this, what's called previs, where you, where you see basically a cartoon version of what they're gonna put in in special effects. So he never left me in the dark and I was really scared I would be in the dark. And I was really scared that like, I wasn't gonna know what was going on, and but he was always he always showed me exactly. Um, they already made a cartoon version of myself, so mm -hmm. I gotta gotta learn from from her.
I am probably the most vocal audience member, which is probably embarrassing for every single person I go to the movies or the theater with. Um, so I encourage it. I mean, I'm the person who's like, you know, if I'm laughing so hard at, in a comedy, I also am speaking at the same time, which probably is irritating. But yeah, of course that's encouraged. That makes the theater going experience important. And it, there's a reason why it's fun to go see movies in a cinema. Absolutely, I haven't seen it that way yet. I saw it on a great screen, but I want to see it with like the best sound, and I want to see it on the largest IMAX, and I, I can't wait to see it in that way. I think, I, and I will get to, and I'm really excited for that.